a couple weeks ago, we went up to a, a test track in South Bend, and the first day we drove uh, two identical Equinoxes, one with worn units and one with low-cost competitor units. Then the second day, we drove the same two Equinoxes, but we had our units on the front and rear, uh, as well as another premium competitor on the front and rear. If I remember right, one of them had 95 some thousand miles on it, one of them had 98 thousand miles on it, and they were as close to identical as they could possibly be. We went to serious lengths to make sure these were consistent, and the only thing that was different on them each time was the shocks and struts. Yeah. You know, the big thing we're trying to show is that, hey, shocks and struts are something that you should be maintaining and replacing on your vehicle, even if they feel like they're riding okay. And the other thing is to get some objective data saying, when you do that, here's the type of improvement you'll be able to see. We had uh, the, the two test drivers from Tire Rack who have put in thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of miles. Yeah. Professional test drivers testing tires uh, at this specific track. We wanted someone else who's, who's a real expert and give us good, honest feedback. Third party um, testimonials. These guys know nothing about KYB or any of the competitors or what. They were there to give their honest, open opinions. If someone installs low-cost units, how much difference is there between those low-cost products and worn OE products? You know, one of the things we learned from this is there's no measurable performance difference between an OE unit with 95 or 98,000 miles and a brand new set from one of our low cost competitors. Yeah, I think that's the key is there, there really was no noticeable difference in performance between no. those two in any of the elements, the, yeah, the, the, the road right, test, the, the braking, the salt, any yeah. of that. It was wild when we started combing through the data, it was actually the low cost units were slightly worse in stopping distance dry and wet than what Warren OE was. Maybe we're a little biased, but maybe our, our biggest takeaway is, is if you're considering low cost replacement units, don't bother. The local shop then put on brand new tires and they swapped the, the, the shocks and struts on the two vehicles, uh, put KYBs on one of them and put a premium competitor on the other one. So this is the Equinox that's equipped with the KYB premium shocks. We'll get started and see what we feel. The, the KYB versus the Warren OE Honestly, it was, it's a significant difference. I feel any driver, you don't even have to be an in-tune driver. I mean, if you switch from the Warner Wee product to the KYB and, and drove over that road, it's, I mean, it's night and day difference. Just the, the, the composure of the vehicle, the, the control of the body motions. Um, you feel much more connected to the road. Just the difference between the first day and the second day was startling to me. I mean, I knew there would be a difference, but they came back and said, wow, this was, this was huge. And again, these are guys that are used to testing tires and finding subtle little differences. Yeah. These were huge. huge yeah, this isn't subtle. Yeah, it was not, it was not subtle, yeah. yeah when, when you take a, an OE unit with 95,000 miles on it off a vehicle and put on a, a correct shocker strut, it, you're going to notice yeah. big, big differences. You know, from there, the, the biggest feedback they had about ours compared to the other uh, is what ours just felt more refined. Yeah. I, I, that was the word they used too, I think, yeah. wasn't it? Refined, yeah. 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 I'm not just saying this because you guys are wearing the correct shirts, but the KYB just does it in a more refined manner. It gave them a little bit more confidence, but they were also more pleased with the overall ride and feel across 
all driving conditions. Yeah, it was very balanced. Yeah, okay, balance is a good word. I am happy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed so far. You noticed? We'll confirm. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, more, more refined over impact. Yeah. By beads, it, 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 things just feel more luxurious. Control and composure were definitely two words that I used a lot when talking about the KYB versus the premium competitor. I felt the premium competitor did not control body motions as well as the KYB did. The vehicle equipped with the KYB dampers just feels so much more locked down. It, it follows the movements of the road, whereas the premium competitor, it feels like it is you are more at the mercy of the road. You're, you're, not, you're not as in control of the vehicle as you are just because it feels, it has that little bit of that disconnected feeling, kind of similar to what uh, we felt in the Warren OE yesterday. I mean, I preferred the KYB. The other thing that we learned is that, um, you know, our premium competitor is, they're okay. The, the test drivers did like the, the refinement and the control uh, out of our product a little bit more than, uh, than the other guys. Uh, when we did um, the dry stopping distance, they were the same. Both performed really well. But when we turned the sprinklers on and traction was reduced, that's where we had the separation. Uh, the gentlemen have returned from wet braking. There's a difference here. And that's where we, we saw that our product helped stop a vehicle six feet shorter than, than what the other guys did. From 50 miles an hour, we stopped six feet shorter. Six feet, I mean, that is the width of a car. Yeah. So if you're in the wet and say going through an intersection and somebody runs the stoplight or stop sign or whatever, that's a whole car width that you're going to be able to stop before you get to that vehicle. Yeah, so it, it's real. Almost ne really no difference in the drive, right. but a difference in the wet. Yep. You want to read? Did you expect that? <laughs> I did not, <laughs> honestly. I didn't. So I, th I think that that alone it was, um, yeah, I think pretty reaffirming to what um, what we've seen and and learned from from all the testing that we've done over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was good to have it validated by uh, someone else's data recorder and not just one that belongs to KYB. Yeah. Right. What we've learned is that you know when you put our parts on, it gets you as close to um, original design performance as anything could. Yeah. Hopefully with this program that we just did, we'll be able to educate people on, you know, why should I replace my shocks and struts? I think the other thing people are gonna learn from this is, you know, once they've made the decision to replace their shocks and struts, that, that this is a, a resource and help them choose the correct brand for the correct reasons. Yeah. Right.